United on all fronts. After weeks of preparation, leaders within the Pan Democrat camp, together with 27 Pan Democrat lawmakers, have decided to work together under a new platform for fighting universal suffrage in Hong Kong. The move comes as the government showed its reluctance in recent days over the roadmap to achieve universal suffrage in Hong Kong in 2016 and 2017. At the inaugural press conference on Thursday, March 21st, the group outlined its mission to the public. In view of the pledges made by the uh, documents, relevant documents of the National People's Congress Standing Committee, Hong Kong people may choose their chief executive by 2017 and all of its legislators by 2020. The most important mission of this alliance, obviously, is to, is to promote and ensure the genuine implementation of this pledge in due course. We realize the difficulties ahead, and we understand that the only way to secure success is to win over the support of the people. To this end, we would like to proceed by two stages. In the initial stage, we would like to generate discussions within the community with the help of academics, public opinion leaders, and the media. We hope that the discussions will help the community to focus on a, serious, on a, on a series of important questions, as well as well-defined options, so that we have a better foundation to conduct public opinion surveys and adopt various methods to allow people to articulate their views clearly. On this basis, we then hope to formulate our political reform proposals, our baselines, and so on. In the second stage of our work, of course, we shall work hard to ensure that people support our proposals so that we can demonstrate to the community to the SAR government, to the leadership in Beijing, and to the international community that Hong Kong people truly support the demand for democracy. In an attempt to show unity to the public, the group invited people power who constantly accused the Democratic Party of kowtowing to PK in the last battle three years ago to join the group. So what's the reason? Unity in diversity is what we expect of the Alliance. We hope that we may start with some different uh, details of different models, but given time, we can collect all our thoughts together and be united to fight for true democracy by going to the people with a model that uh, we can all embrace. Well, does that mean people power is no longer upholding its stance? Um, 雖然之前我們和其他黨派有很多不同的意見和爭執,但是我們相信現階段,現階段,真普選聯盟這個平台是我們認為最有效的平台,能夠為香港市民爭取 Regarding the issue of pre-election over the chief executive election, the new platform stressed that there is no such thing in a democratic system. Well, we certainly oppose any type of screening process or any so-called uh, pre-election because we are very, very worried that this may lead to a kind of political screening which is dangerous and which ensures that there is no open, fair, democratic election. It's now three years since some members of the pan-democrat camp worked together in the name of Alliance for Universal Suffrage. 
but the move had triggered three years of disarray within the pan-democratic camp as the Democratic Party and the Association for Democracy and People's Livelihood supported the political reform package tabled by the then chief executive Sir Donald Zhang in June 2010. Despite the new platform has reiterated that the latest battle may not be easy, they still decided to stand shoulder to shoulder as some of them realize that they can't lose this battle and have to unite or die. But just wonder how long the unity will last? Eric Lowe, INT, Tamer.